Today I thought I would do something different to celebrate the fifth anniversary of Azure Lane EN. The anniversary event is centered around the French, which means if I'm going to make a cooking video, it's gotta be a French dish. Also, it wouldn't be an Azure Lane video if we didn't incorporate a degree of degeneracy, so I'll be talking about each new ship girl and their corresponding skin during the process, cause if the food I'm making doesn't look good, at least something else will. We're going to be cooking macarons using June's Little Table's viral video recipe. It doesn't look too difficult to make from watching the video, but I've never made macarons or anything like them, ever. What could possibly go wrong, right? The video used an electric mixer, but real gacha gamers have strong wrists, so I'll be doing it by hand. My disappointment was immeasurable and my day was ruined when I realized that Gyosan was just an elite. But you know what doesn't disappoint? Her artist. I would go jogging my lazy ass every day if this is what I got to see. Gerson entered service in January of 1934. One of her first major operations was to evacuate French civilians during the Spanish Civil War. During the Second World War, apparently she escorted Commandant Testi, a carrier, on one functioning propeller shaft, making her pretty slow. And then she later escaped a British attack without taking any damage. Maybe that's why her personality is the way it is? I don't know. Apparently in real life there have been a lot of French ships named Suchen and even a nuclear powered submarine. I tried to look up why she has a dragon tail and horns and if it has any symbolism, but after 10 minutes of excruciating research, I couldn't find anything. If it wasn't for the dragon features, I would have said she's a pretty generic looking ship girl. And how do we feel about her tennis outfit? Nice. Great. These look stiff enough. Now it's time to do the Dairy Queen check. Nice. I wanted to make the Max black, and you'll see why in a second, but this looks more like cement. In that case, I'm gonna need more black. I really liked the magical time witch design of this ship and decided to once again see what the connection was to the real ship. Well, I couldn't find any answers, but I did find out that her designs were prepared by Marie de Bussy. I guess we have de Bussy to thank for this elegant, well thought out depiction. As for her ice skating skin, it's good, but losing her magical witch status hurts de Bussy. Our cement is finished, so time to pour it into the plastic. Well, I gotta admit, I didn't realize we had two magical witches. She's alright, but I think I prefer Gishan's design more. That staff is pretty badass though, she might be worth it just for that. Her skin is, um, well, I'll let you decide that one. And the cement is in. This looks appetizing. That looks simple enough. Might be the easiest part of the recipe, unless I drip all over the tray. I'm sure this is gonna take a while, so next ship. Clemenceau has my favorite smug face out of all the ships in this event. The Clemenceau battleship was never completed. In fact, it was nowhere near completion by the time Richelieu sailed out to war. So why is her rigging a giant balance? Cause she needs perfect balance to hit her shot, of course. Golfing may not be so boring to watch after all. Now it's starting to look less like cement and more like goopy Krabby Patties. Trust the process. After 12 minutes in the oven, we've solidified the cement, and I gotta say, this isn't as hopeless as I thought it was. They could use a little more puff, but this'll do. Time 
To make the buttercream filling, we first need two egg yolks, some Himalayan salt, sugar, and finally some milk. We're gonna mix it around nicely until it becomes a smooth consistency. Then we'll put it on low heat to make it more rich. Well, this is gonna take forever. Now we're gonna whip up our butter and slowly mix in the yellow stuff. And last but not least, the ship girl that has a name that I had to look up how to pronounce because there was no way I was going to get it right. And it sounds pretty cool. Pan Lu Vi. Uh, that's probably wrong still. Pan Lu Vi was another unfortunate ship that was at least built close to completion, but was ultimately never laid down. Well, actually some sources say she was laid down, but didn't go far since the war was coming to a close. She was also the only ship of this event where I had to double take her design, just in case I miss something. Azure Lane and their ribbons, am I right? Speaking of which, she's the reason why I colored the macarons black. Holy And here are the black macarons after cooldown. I'm a little nervous because of how flat and delicate they are, but we need to take these off the baking tray. Shall we? <laughs> well... <laughs> Luckily, I was able to salvage a few pieces that didn't break apart. And while the underside looks like radioactive mold, it looks like a black macaron. Oh yeah, and I also combined the two lids to make a Oreo thin. Now for the final trial. How does it taste? Sorry about the butterfingers, but it's time to see if I wasted the last few hours of my day with this. Both substances taste a lot better than they look, which was a nice surprise, but it wasn't good enough to make me want to make another one. I'd rather just buy it at a bakery or even just buy something completely else, like a chocolate croissant. So there you have it, black macarons and buttercream, and happy fifth to a Lane. 